Hello everyone and welcome back to my new flight career in Microsoft Flight Sim. We are still in Hong Kong and I would like to take a tourist flight to Macau because I do have the Samsung scenery for Macau and I might as well put it to some use. So taking a look at NeoFly here, uh, we do see here a uh, flight to Macau, Torre Lago Panoramico. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll go for Torre Lago Panoramico. So. All right, we'll take this four passengers, not uh, not a long flight, and well, we seem to have zero fuel somehow. So I don't know how uh, what it's doing with the fuel, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, it doesn't seem to be tracking it exactly or forcing me to run out of fuel when I run out of fuel. So I don't know how that all works, but we'll add that much. For now, there should be more than enough. Since it's just a tourist flight, I'm not going through the startup. Pretty sure I have enough payload. It's not happy about the situation though. Oh, it doesn't match? Okay, it doesn't read this as part of VHHH. That's the problem. See? Uh, so I added a mod that adds the extra runway to VHHH, but it's not reading this as VHHH. So we we'll, we can't take off from this runway, basically, I think. And that's why also the in-game map didn't have land here. Okay, now I think it's registering this as Hong Kong International. Hey, I see you brought your selfie stick. Please fly our guests to the POI and complete a few circuits so they can grab some pictures. Okay, payload matching it says, but let's verify. Well, I don't mind that much extra, and it was 40% before. And so without further ado, over to Macau. Okay, gear up. Pilot from dispatch. Fly safe. I don't know, the textures to the side there aren't great. At least this causeway is here. That's nice, I suppose. But yeah, the textures on those mountains are horrid. I hear like a airliner coming in right next to me. Oh, right there. This is a long, long bridge they've got here. Plus tunnel, I suppose. Once again, I have to keep below a thousand feet anyway. Feel like this should be a little bit more 3D somehow. Yep, that that should definitely be more 3D because that's like some that, that it's emerging from underneath, right? Pretty sure. Well, I don't know which scenery actually adds this bridge, though. So this bridge is, uh, well, it's a bridge tunnel system, it is 34 miles long. Three cabled state bridges, an undersea tunnel, and four artificial islands, technically. Technically, it's called the Hong kong macau Zhuhai Bridge, or Hong kong Zhuhai macau Bridge, or something like that. And where Zhuhai is actually basically all the islands and stuff and part of the land other than Hong Kong and Macau. Basically, it sort of wraps around Macau in an interesting way. Macau itself is like a void in this city called Zhuhai. It's like uh, it's its own separate entity in the middle of it. Anyway, that's Macau in front of us. So you can see Zhuhai on the map, but really the borders of Zhuhai are sort of interesting. They, it really encompasses a whole chunk of water. Presumably all the islands that aren't already part of Hong Kong in this particular area. So this is the whole thing. 
so... This is not the thing that we're aiming for. It's just one of the artificial islands, I suppose. Part of the link. Transporter, you are less than two nautical miles from the POI. Stay under 1,000 feet. Okay. Well, I think it's that really special shaped building right in front of us. Okay, turn around the POI as close as possible until they are done taking pictures. Really bright and shiny. Definitely a casino, right? Must be a casino. There's the MGM Grand there, too. Well, that's the best I can do right now. Come on, finish up. <laughs> Don't want to bump into anything. Transporter from dispatch. Enough pictures for today. Oh, thank Good goodness. Job. You can come back. It's dangerous, you know. There's Macau Tower. Very nice. Lots of bridges across here. Alright. So that was Macau. The Samsung version. Alright. Uh oh, no! Internet connection lost and it's blocking my view. <laughs> well, not that seriously, but this is not the time to have internet connection lost. Okay, thank you. Totally random. That was a harder landing than we like to see, pilot. Okay, I'm holding position, they're holding position. They're just lining up, uh, they're not moving at all. All I know is Neofly does not get on my case for disobeying air traffic control. Okay. Welcome back. You can let the snappers disembark the aircraft. Okay. Smiles all round. You must have given them some great angles for their photos. So where I want to go now is... Well, where is that flight to? Oh, that's the Philippines. Now I want to eventually get to Singapore, so... That probably means going to Thailand, ideally. If I can get there. But yeah, this, this would probably be too long for me to do right now. I'll have to wait a little bit. Alright, so my current plane, the Milviz C310, would take too long to get to Thailand for my tastes, but I do want to get to Thailand. And taking a look at the airplane market, there is an MU-2 here, Aviator Club livery, but still, an MU-2, and but it's not a rental, it's an outright purchase, and it's 5 million. So that's pretty expensive, but it'll have double the capacity of my current plane and also go much faster uh, by about 100 knots. So that's interesting. And of course, it's a special plane, right? I had to, it was one of the, I forget what it was, Famous Flyers, Local Legends, I don't know which one. But anyway, uh, I got it special, so I should fly it. And the question is, all right, so what's up with the loan business? I haven't gotten any loans so far. 
What does twelve percent mean? Well, the thing is, twelve percent I can only get if I have three star, uh, three stripes, which is captain. So I can only get the five hundred thousand. And does that mean that that's the max I can get, or can I get multiple five hundred thousands paying fifteen percent each? Well, let's just take a loan and find out. Yeah, fine. Okay. Um, so then we have to repay 50,000 by July 4th and it only gives a repay the loan option. Well, now I'm in trouble, <laughs> but, uh, well, I mean, I could pay it back, uh, but maybe I should take a look at other options. Another option is to find some other MU2s around here. And in fact, uh, unfortunately, it's uh, into China a bit. <laughs> uh, there's uh, an executive black one. The deposit is within my current costs. I mean, my current uh, affordability. And, but maybe I can get it to be flown over here. I don't have to actually go over there. So I'm going to rent that one. Yes. Deposit only when it comes back in one piece. Fine. Add to my hangar. And at my hangar, I want this one. Uh, can I get it brought to me? I forget how. Uh, bring this aircraft to pilot location. Yes. 6,000 is what it says is the cost of that. I think you can't see that dialogue right now. Aircraft movement, it says 6,747. So I'm going to pay that. So now it's at VHHH, and I'm going to transfer myself to it. So empty, and oh, I have to have a D qualification. Great. I forgot about that. All right, fine. Um, D, where can I do that? Well, uh, there's VHSK. I can do that in the ATR42. Well, that's not too far away. Add the selected qualification to its job list. I guess so. Yeah, I'll take the test 4,000 for that now. So uh, you can't see the dialogue, but it says $4,145. Go to VHSK and assign your pilot to that craft. Well, so I guess I'll have to use the C310 to go over there. Well, let's see how this works out. It's got to be a night flight over there. I know there. it's going to be a good day when my favorite pilot is working. Okay, I'm not doing the startup again. And... I'm not carrying any cargo over there. Have a nice flight. Just to remind you, we're not paying you for this one. All right, off we go. Well, we we're certainly close enough to just talk to the other airport. Well, we just need to select a runway. I guess 11 will be fine. Okay, where is it? <laughs> Decide not to have its lights on, huh? Uh, hmm. Okay, well, um, if I was putting an airport around here, where would I put one? <laughs> it should be like over it right now. Uh, you got me. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're way close. All right. Yes, it's not lit, but it's right next to this green thing, so maybe I can remember that. I just need to, like, not die. Oh, connection lost is this. It's been doing that a lot when I've been trying to land. 
Oh, joy. Okay. Stop. Stop confusing. I need to see things. Okay, there's the airport. Now it's successfully connected again. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I didn't even check the runway length, to be honest. That was a harder landing than we like to it see. It was a hundred feet per minute and I am not even on a job. Taxi to parking and shut down your engine. Well, then it says 182. I don't know where it got the 182 from. Well, I am going to park here. I don't know how they expect an ATR-42 to take off from- well, I guess it's got a big wing and everything. You can start your engine now. Nope, let's just shut her down. ATR-42600 uh, and I, uh, it looks like the house livery. But I don't want to take off and land at this airport in the dark. <laughs> um, I, I guess I know that... I know how it is. It's not that short. I have not used this in a long time. Well, I'm on the runway, but I think I can click this colon dark. But uh, will it be happy with that? I don't think so. Probably not. I think I should start clean. I mean, the ramp spots aren't exactly great. Right here, that it's just on the side of the runway. I think this spot will give me more of a chance to turn around. First step, start your engines according to the aircraft procedure. I can't actually afford this plane right now, but it's rather proper in its airline arena, I suppose. Battery master switch. Yes, where is that? That's where it is. Before pro propeller rotation, we have to do all this stuff, and it didn't even say that on the checklist. Okay, back to the top. So, yeah, the checklist has some problems. And this is not a plane I was prepared to practice with just yet. So, yeah. Okay, ACW. Um, you. Can I get you as well? Okay, now engine 2 seems to have some. Alright. So, I think it started. Okay, and then condition lever, feather. Now that the engine is running, Aha. taxi to the runway. They're Don't satisfied. exceed 25 knots okay, while not taxiing. Okay, not yet. We, we have a lot to do still. <laughs> Jumping the gun here. I still need to switch it to internal power. Okay, the hydraulic power seems to be fine. What about these? That doesn't seem to be working out. Okay, so external power is still important to us. Yeah, the question it's not answering that I would like to know is how to get this on internal power and off the external power. Floodlights, steer the lights. Oh, now ECW Gen is okay. I guess I had to push the propellers past a certain bit. Okay, DC Gen is still iffy. Okay, well, we can do the AC. We can disconnect this external power in theory. Okay, let me do that. So that's off. But what about the DC gen? Nope, DC gen is still not working. Okay, well, I keep trying to take it off of external power, and I do not know how to do that because. It doesn't seem to be in this information here. 
transform rectifier unit. Maybe that'll help. Okay. It says released, pushed. Well, on and checked. Okay. But that still doesn't help with the DC gen. Okay, so uh, I've got no choice. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna say ready for taxi. And take it off of ground power like that. Seems to be fine now, but I don't see what I did wrong, so... Okay, ready for taxi we are. Uh, okay, we'll go around, we'll, we'll try and get through here. Uh, depart west. Okay, well, let's hope for the best here. We are now in the air. Remember that here at NeoFly, we have to take care of our cargo and passengers. Don't bank or pitch too much for the entire flight. Now, climb to 1,000 feet AGL. Better be careful of, like, mountains and such, though. Your bank angle was too high. Failed qualification. Uh... You can go land and go to the parking. Okay, here we go again. Now that the engine is running, taxi to the runway. Don't exceed 25 knots while taxiing. This is a rudimentary sort of autopilot. Well, I'm glad they're making things interesting by putting different vehicles around. Okay. Align with the runway and take off. I don't know what that vehicle is, but I'm going this way. Can just shove off. There we go. Smart. Oh shoot, the gust lock. We are now in the air. Barely. Remember that here at NeoFly, we have to take care of our cargo and passengers. Don't bank or pitch too much for the entire flight. Now, climb to 1,000 feet 45 AGM. degrees. I can't believe I've been doing four, more than 45 degrees. Oh, great. I'm going over China now. Now, climb to 3,000 feet AGL. Maintain the same heading. Yeah, well, Autopilot's not doing a whole lot. Yeah, I don't know what Autopilot's doing, to be honest. So, probably safer not to have it on. Now, fly a complete circle and maintain the exact same altitude. It's a long turn. <laughs> Just feels like a long turn. And then we're gonna have to land back at that very interesting airport. Now go back to the departure airport. Align with the runway and do a touch and go. Oh yeah, a, landing a touch and go even. Of more than minus 400 feet per minute will not allow you to pass the qualification. Okay, touch and go, huh? Oh uh, yeah, this is probably not the best city to do a flight test in. <laughs> um, yep. I don't think we're even supposed to approach this airport in this direction at all. Or it's a Kai Tak sort of deal. Where you have to come really close to the mountains and then turn. I'm probably gonna make a U-turn and come around in the opposite direction here. Well, at least I can see the runway. 
But yeah, approaching in this direction, yeah, forget it. Oh boy, there it is. And there's a mountain on the other side. Hope they don't expect me to hold the same heading on the after the touch and go. I can't even read my vertical speed very well. Okay, nice. Well done. You can now fly a traffic pattern and do your final landing. Traffic pattern sounds good. Well, traffic pattern, you know, something like a traffic pattern. <laughs> okay, turning around. I don't know what the ticking sound is. And shut down your Ooh, 322 though but all right it's been tense especially with these connection loss things oh but then it says landed at their 123 feet per minute so I don't know Okay, well, fuel shut off should do the trick. Uh, okay, it's not letting me put the fuel shut off on. Gus lock? No. Well, those th vehicles just go right through me. Wheel chocks, ground power maybe. Okay, checklists. What else do I have to do to shut these down? Parking. I think it doesn't give me all the information I'd like. Uh, reset to off. Okay, well... Well, I'm going to shut it down by just going golden dog. Congratulations. Dark. You passed your qualification. Have a nice day. Thank goodness. All right. I'll take it. Had some cheats involved, but I didn't actually use the autopilot as it turns out. But I did have to use the pad to finally start it and stop it. Okay, so I do have a dequalification, and so I can fly the MU-2, which I'll just bring to this airport now, and I'll switch to it, and next time we'll see how that goes. I've got two planes now, but I'll probably de-rent this one, of course, but for now I think I'll wrap it up. We've had enough chaos this time. And so with this, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.